hello guys and today I'm going to cook some out of date food okay I've got something here called meat and veg and it claims it has chicken mince with carrot kidney beans and onion all ground into it now I've never seen anything before where meat has had things like kidney beans, carrots and onions ground into it before, okay? So I'm going to fry some of that. And then I'm going to put it on some naan bread. I've never tried this before. And put on some naan bread, which I've got here. Now, technically the naan bread was sort of in date and out of date at the same time. So it was technically in date if I hadn't opened it. Because it was dated the 26th of January. But because I opened it several days ago... And they claim that, and you can even see me opening the packet on another video. And um, the fact that you're only supposed to use it the same day, which I'm not going to, means this is technically out of date. But I'm not really bothered. So it might be about three or four days out of date. This is um, dated the 8th of November. It's currently the 14th of November, so this is six days out of date. And just to let you know, today is Remembrance Sunday, and the Queen at the last minute um, couldn't attend um, a Remembrance Ceremony. So I couldn't possibly have known that if it wasn't today, okay? Because it was... So there you go. And with it... Well, the, it does say on the back you can turn it into a bolognese sauce, but I'm going to have my, do something different instead. It claims that you can serve it, it says, um, make into a delicious bolognese and serve with spaghetti. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to serve it with some mayonnaise. I've never tried this before. I'm going to treat it like a sort of kebab, if you like, without the without other things in. So I'm going to use it, treat it almost like a kebab, but without the, um, you know lettuce or the tomatoes it's got a bit of onion supposedly in here now i've never tried this before in my life so this should be interesting okay so now i'm going to disappear now but carry on watching and you will see it now the rest of it as i cook it um using my um ipod touches camera to record it all okay so bye but carry on watching now to see how it turns out okay Oh, by the way, I forgot. Um, I forgot to tell you more about this. On the back it says, um, a chicken mince with carrot, kidney beans, onion and seasoning. And it says you should fry it for 10 minutes, roughly. And here I have a reduced sticker which states that normally this pack would have been £2.50, but because it was about to expire the day I bought it, it I got it for 63 pence instead, OK? But so this isn't going to be an entirely fair test because it is out of date. But I've never had anything like this before where it's all been minced together, so it should be interesting, OK? Carry on watching, guys. Right, guys, and today I'm going to... Um, Again, do some cooking. I've just given an introduction, so you're going to see this as I cook it now. Not like um, the last time I'd already cooked it and then I gave an introduction. I'm actually going to cook it after the introduction, okay? Now, first, at the moment, the um, this has not actually been switched on, so it doesn't matter at the moment because the cooker um, hot plate has not been switched on. I'm doing this purely to show you something, okay? Now... I'm now just going to put the naan bread, so I've opened the packet the previous day, and I'm going to put the naan bread, I'm going to take it out, and I'm just going to put it, it put a bit broke off, so I'm going to put it like that, and later I'm going to put this in the microwave. The last time I used the oven, the last two times, but you saw me film it, um, a version where I used the oven once, this time I'm going to try the microwave, okay? In fact, I might actually do it upside down, yep. So... because then the meat will go in there, okay? I think a bit's already broken off and maybe a bit broke off and I ate some, I don't know what I did. Oh yeah, there's another bit, that's it. All right, I got it out of the way, okay. 
It's like a jigsaw puzzle, okay? It's like putting a jigsaw puzzle together, okay? And, um... I mean, that was for another piece, I don't know, anyway. Um, there you go. So that will be heated in the microwave later, okay? Now, just put that aside for now. Now, I'm going to get out the, um, meat, the meat and veg, which is the chicken mince with carrot, kidney beans and onions. I'm now going to cut a slit in here. That's just to open it up. And now, in here, I have some sunflower oil. Pure sunflower oil. Just going to put some of that. Into the frying pan. It's not switched on at the moment, so don't worry. Normally you wouldn't do it this way, but I'm doing it this way. Normally you'd heat the oil up first and then put the meat in. But I'm not going to bother just because I'm filming and I'm trying to speed up the filming process. So now I'm going to grab some of this, put it in there. A lot of people don't like me using my hands, but tough. There you go. That should be enough for... That should be enough for today. And now... I, I might put a bit more in, just a little bit more in. And now... I'm going to um, just get the um, mayonnaise bottle ready, so wait a moment. Okay, now I have a mayonnaise bottle. Now, over here, they print it upside down. So you've got the lid at the top, and they print it, the label upside down. The idea is you put it on a tabletop like that, and put it on the fridge like that, and so that it gradually is, goes down. And I'm going to take the top off. So twist the top off. And you'll notice there's this seal, full seal, I'm going to take that off. Oh, you can see me taking the full, the full seal off. And now it's, now I can screw the um, top back on. This is perfectly in date by the way, so don't worry. Um, this is dated April 2022, so this is perfectly in date, okay? And it's the says Heinz Mayonnaise, creamy and smooth, okay? This is my own idea, it's not something from a recipe book, it's my idea. It's based on the fact of kebabs, okay? So in the past when I've had donut kebabs, or even there's been chicken kebabs, and it's based on my idea for that, okay? So I'm just doing something completely different to what they're recommending on the packet of the um, chicken and mince, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm now going to plug in, you know, I'm not going to show you this, but I'm going to plug in the hot plate and switch it on. And um, now, back a bit. And you see me turn the knob. As I turn the knob, you'll see the light comes on. 
Now this hot plate takes a while to warm up, but once it's warmed up, it tends to stay warm for quite some time. Okay. In the meantime, I'm going to start stirring around, stirring this around so a lot of the oil will cook the. Uh, so some of that went off, so I'll have to throw it in the bin. Uh, I'm doing this so that a lot of the oil goes into the meat and veg. As I said, you can see, if I look carefully on this one, I've got one threw off, so I'm going to throw it out anyway, but there you'll see there's a little bit there of carrot. Very carefully, there's a bit of carrot. The rest of it is the chicken mince, and I can't see any onion bits, but there might be some. Um, I'm not going to move the camera nearer, okay? I meant to do that for about, stir it for about 10 minutes, okay, so. As I said, I think me, you watching me stir some, I think around for 10 minutes is going to be kind of boring. So. So right, I'm going to leave that for a while now, while I um, sort take away other things and put them back in the fridge, okay? Okay, now it seems to be going a bit dry. So, I don't want to burn it, so I'm going to... I'm going to put some more oil in, okay? I know you're not meant to put too much oil in because it's not too good for you if you overdo it, but you know, I think it's starting, it's starting to go very dry. This is probably after about four or five minutes, so um, it probably doesn't even need ten minutes, truthfully, because um, you know, I've done half a packet, but I'm just going to do it their way. I'm going to leave it so that some the mixture, the mince mixture, soaks up a lot of the new oil I've just added. And it was starting to stick to the pan. That's not usually a good sign. So. I'm going to now leave it to simmer. So I've now turned down the hot plate completely, so I'm going to leave it to cool down. So it takes about five or ten minutes for the hot plate to cool down usually, and that in the meantime generates a lot of enough heat for you to cook on this particular ceramic hob. On some of us, if you turn it down on some electric cookers, you'll lose the heat almost immediately within about a couple of minutes or so. But and a ceramic hob like this, it keeps the heat much longer. I 
I'm now going to try some more. Um, mostly I can taste the um, kiddie beans, I think. You can tell there's some chicken there, but it doesn't actually taste like chicken very much. Truthfully, I could be wrong, but you know, I think these extra ingredients that they put in, like the carrots and the onions and the, um, other things. Strange sort of taste because it's like the case the other flavors seem to cancel each other out. It doesn't taste like a chicken meal anymore, or but I've never had anything like this before, truthfully, so I can't comment. I don't normally have chicken mints, truthfully. I've usually had chicken breasts or things like that, you know, or drumsticks or thighs, truthfully. I don't think I've I very rarely ever, in fact, I can't remember if I even ever have even bought chicken mints. I'm not sure, truthfully. Anyway, that should soon be ready. Okay, so it's roughly about 10 minutes, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that to um, as it looks like it's cooked anyway, it doesn't look like I'm going to like be very ill because any of it's undercooked, so I think I've stirred it enough for it, you know, the heat to go through all of it, so now I'm going to put this in the microwave and then I'm going to try and serve it okay so, so I've tried some of this and a bit more again the reason I'm doing this by the way is just so I can give a sort of review of what it looks what it's like before I put any mayonnaise on or anything like that okay and you're supposed to put some butter on this but I'm not going to bother I'm just afterwards I'm just going to Put this straight in the microwave and I'm going to put that on and then I'm going to put some mayonnaise on, okay? And I'm going to try and eat it, okay? Now I'm meant to put the alarm button in the microwave for 40 seconds. I've never done this before. So there you go. Or at least I can't remember doing it in that way. I could be wrong. Um, so now I'm going to put the naan bread in the microwave, okay? Okay. Now I'm going to put the... Um, Naan bread in the microwave. I'm going to do that quickly. So now we're going to look at the watch. It was on the. It was exactly on the hour. The second hand was exactly at the 12 o'clock mark. Well, you know what I mean. It was on the 12 at the top, so. I say put it in the microwave for 40 seconds. I'm going to give it about an extra 10 just in case. So that's the four coming up to the 40 second mark. I'm going to give it an extra 10 seconds just in case. Okay, I'm going to stop it now. Yes, and that's warm. Okay, so I'm going to stop it now. Change my mind. Okay, now I'm, I've got this currently on top of the freezer. Okay, and I've got here something called just like butter, and I'm going to put some spread on it. So I'm going to spread some of that on here. This is a very, very soft spread. They're so much so they say it's not even suitable for cooking. Believe it or not. So. 
it's because it's so soft and smooth you see it's obviously not butter it's some sort of margarine but and it will melt up very easily and as I said I'm doing this on top of the freezer so if you wonder why it's not that clean it's not meant to be cooked on or food's not really meant to be prepared on this but it's good enough for what I'm doing Okay, now I'm going to put the lid back on the butter. So it's just like butter. It's a very cheap brand, to be honest. It's not an expensive brand. It's a very cheap brand. It's not. Often I've had it's. Uh, I can't believe it's not butter. It's one of the better brands. Um, just like butter is one of the cheaper brands. Okay. Okay, guys. So now I'm going to take this back upstairs, and then I'm going to um, put things on this. Okay. Right. Right, okay guys, now I'm going to serve it, so I'm going to um, get the mincer out and put it on here. I'll spread it over. Now, I'm going to get the rest of that out off camera, okay? So I've just... I mean, you don't need to see me, like, do that. And then it goes on, so... Is that the way? <laughs> right, so now we have this. I'm now going to squirt some mayonnaise all over it. So it's like a doner kebab because in the past I've had lots of doner kebabs. And I usually ask for, if I've ever been out and had a kebab, I've asked them to put mayonnaise on it. I don't like chilli powder, it's too hot for me. The chilli sauce they provide, so I've often asked for mayonnaise, okay? Now I'm going to... Use a fork to end it in a bit. I'm sure, this is going to be a disaster, but and I'm just going to okay. Now I'm going to turn the camera around and try and eat it, okay. Okay, so here you go. I know a lot of people complained that I eat with my fingers last time, but tough luck, this is how you eat this kind of thing. You don't... Often that would be folded over like that. Could be eaten like a kebab. I'm gonna... I'm fold some bits so you can see it. I'm going to break some off. Make a use shrink off. Mm. 
Uh, for example, I have a huge chunk of it, I have a huge chunk of the naan bread and the chicken. Mix mixture. I do like it, um, with the mayonnaise, I may have ever done the mayonnaise a bit, but never mind. I want to grab another piece. And... Um, I'm going to put some of the mince that's come off onto there, so I'm going to put a lot of mince on the top. Often when I've eaten a kebab, okay, there's often so much, you know, you can't easily, while you're walking down the street, you can't easily just tear it off and put it straight into your mouth. I have tried, but sometimes so often I've put my hands in and pick bits of the kebab out, like I'm doing now. I know some people cringe at that, but it's honestly what I, and I think probably many other people do as well, okay? Otherwise it will go everywhere. And I'm going to put on some more of the mixture. And put on this little thing of pigs here. This little tin piece there. And put them. And then some there. I truthfully can't really taste a carrot or onion that's in your hand. I couldn't really, but I had it without a man, I can. I think it's a gimmick for lazy people. It's chicken mince um, with the extra vegetables in because normally I'd rather eating it normally like where you have the carrots on their own if you're going to have a meal like that. And I may be wrong. I can't even remember carrots even being an ingredient in bolognese. So. I'm going to try and take a huge chunk out. It's difficult because of how I'm filming this. So. Eight minute. This is another huge chunk, so now I've got a huge chunk here where there's a lot in the middle. I'm going to fold it over to the huge chunk, okay? And this is how we eat a kebab, okay? But normal Donna kebabs have bits of lettuce in. I think um chopped tomatoes, gherkin, chopped onions. Not minced onions, not like we've done with this. The actual chopped onions, um Probably some other things I've got, but I don't. I 
to all those people whinging about knives and forks, because this is on naan bread, you wouldn't eat it with a knife and fork, okay? It's like, would you eat a McDonald's burger with um, a knife and fork, really, would you? This is all that's left of the naan bread now, and there's some of them mint, so I'm going to eat this. And the problem is, when I've done it, and, um, it starts to come out. That's one of the reasons why. I have a real one. Now, in fairness, in absolute fairness, okay. And thought about this, when you do go into a kebab shop, okay, they often, when you give your donut kebab, they actually do give you a thought with it, right? So just for those people, one moment, Okay, back. Just for those people, I think I could use a fork instead. Um, I have here a fork, okay? So I'm going to... But usually, to be honest, um, even though sometimes I give away a fork, or you can ask for one, in the kebab shop, to eat it like this, because often, like I give you, put it all in like that. Okay. And there's often too much in it. So you dip your, you know, fork in, into the actual pound. Mix them out, but I'm going to put some more back in. So, the rest, I'm going to just to please those people who want to see me with a knife and fork. I won't actually just a fork in this case because I don't need a knife. And no knife in the face. Um but to be honest, it just seems like a waste of time for me when I can more I can easily just pick it up with my fingers and eat it. It's much quicker. Take this kind of thing, truthfully. I'm going to put this back in here and now I'm going to eat this. <laughs> this is the last chunk of naan bread. Left, left is just mints. And obviously the mayonnaise, so... Okay, for those people who want to eat naan bread with a, with, a, with a fork. Bizarre, I'm not used to eating it this way, honestly. I'm going to finish the rest of it off with my fingers, okay? Okay guys, that's it.
Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.